Can I help you with a oh. jug of water? We met Nikisha Garrick carrying heavy bottles of water up to her apartment. No good things for all the girls there. Garrick is one of a number of people choosing to hunker down and wait for repairs. Were you here last night when it happened, when the power I went out? I was here, yeah, yeah, I was actually just coming in. Um, we even bought baby wipes, because yeah. that's how we're showering right now. Yeah. <laughs> really embarrassing, but... You see those? They for 48 hours. They work for 30 seconds. So this is what it's like with the camera light on. If we turn it off, you can't even see your hand in front of you. There are lots of newcomers in this building, elderly and families. Because then you have to think about your neighbours at 650 Parliament, right? Exactly. Yeah. So we're like, is this going to happen to us too? She means the building next door. It's been uninhabitable since an electrical fire back in August. It's run by the same property management company. Hundreds of people were displaced. They either found somewhere else to live or stayed in shelters. We go to YMCA, we do shower. That's what Artin Bermas has to do. His apartment on the 33rd floor is too cold to stay through the night. I don't have a place to go. Did that pipe burst because of negligence? Or was it really just an unfortunate thing that happened? We took that man's question to the property manager. There's no, nothing to suggest that there's uh, negligence or, or malpractice in what's happened. It really is... Um, some very bad luck. Electricians on site say the electrical room has to completely dry before they can run diagnostics. The property manager says power should be restored by the end of the week. Residents hope so. A cold front is supposed to hit the city on Friday. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.